Hey there. So perpendicular lines. Um, two lines or uh, line segments maybe are perpendicular if when they touch or cross each other they form right angles, um, 90 degree angles. So and the word um, perpendicular comes from a Latin word that means vertical. So if you imagine here's the horizon of the earth, you're looking out and then all of a sudden you see, I don't know, a, a jet go straight up like that. Um, it goes straight vertical. Um, that The path of the jet would form a um, perpendicular, or it would be perpendicular to the horizon of the earth like that. And uh, So that's a, that's a way to think about it. But two lines might be per perpendicular, but, but not look exactly like that right away. So these two lines here um, are perpendicular because they form a 90 degree angle, even though they're the whole thing is kind of slanted off in this direction. But that's okay. As long as they form 90 degree angles, they're perpendicular. And this little box, that just means uh, right angle or 90 degrees. Um, I could have written 90 degrees like that. Uh, but it's nice in geometry just to, just to do that shorthand symbol like that, um, indicating that it's a 90 degree angle there. So those are perpendicular lines. Uh, we've got two perpendicular rays here. because They form a 90 degree angle. Um, I've got a straight line here, this line segment AB, and this line segment CD is perpendicular to it because the two form uh, 90, a 90 degree angle there. And um, here's the symbol for perpendicular. Uh, this means that line segment AB is perpendicular to line segment CD. And it, you can see in the symbol there's this, this idea of um, perpendicular meaning vertical to the horizon something like that. So uh, that's the symbol for perpendicular. Um, and you can just tell if, if the lines form a 90 degree angle, which can be written out 90 degrees or a little box like that, then the lines or line segments are perpendicular.